someday we can discuss this um, this dust blowout from 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 this gunshot mm -hmm. uh, because it's 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 about understanding the the, the forces in general. But I don't know how um, how long will it take to to have all this. So maybe I don't know if we should start it today. Um, you're talking about the um, the uh, topic we had, I think, three weeks ago, where you asked me about the gun and the um, uh, kind of the the gas coming out of it, right? Yeah. Like this. Okay. This isn't perfect. I did this directly after we had the discussion. And this is a little bit too much uh, volume. Um, I don't know if this is actually animated. I think I left it animated. It's not going to be very fluid. Yeah, it's six frames per second. It, when it goes properly fast, it looks better. But yeah, this is kind of uh, what I arrived at. And this is, okay. you know, just faking it because you can't get the uh, physics correct in Blender to make this work. Because of Blender limitations, what we... Yes, because because the... Um, you, you can... So the... How, how it works with a gun is there is gas pressure in the back of you know the bullet that is being fired and when it comes out of this cylinder um, it creates a shock wave in the by contacting the air that's not really the part of the smoke that makes the ring it's the air the pressure of the air um, since we cannot have a simulation in blender that uses two different values for density or temperature or vorticity you can't recreate this uh -huh. physically because you have two mediums interacting you have the smoke and the air interacting right uh, while in blender you can kind of only say the smoke does this air density is kind of you know set as it is also the other problem is that you um, showed me the effect is something that happens, you know, in slow motion, which Blender in simulations generally doesn't really do well. So um, if you do it slowly with the bullet, you know, um, hitting the uh, gas or the, 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 the smoke in Blender, there isn't enough force for it to disperse into a ring. But if you do it fast with the bullet doing an actual realistic speed and then say slow the video uh, the simulation down, it doesn't work because then the smoke doesn't know how to behave. <laughs> uh, and and like in real life you you do the animation somehow and then just Yes. Uh, render out uh, 300 frames or 500 frames. Well, that, that would work if the simulation speed could be set to 300 frames, but it can't. Okay. Because the... Um, so you can, you, can, you can do this with... Um, so the time scale is here, right? The simulation speed. You can at maximum set this to 2, I believe. I don't want to unbake it because uh, I will lose it. But yeah. you can set you can set this to two. So if you um, mm. uh, you can have a maximum of sixty frames per second on this, not more. In in simulation speed, not in the amount of frames because those are different. So the frame rate is how many images Blender will render, but the simulation speed is different. By the way, you can do this in um, the physics tab um, here or here. Yes. So in if you work with rigid bodies 
and with uh, collision physics you can do this because you have here steps per second so you can bump this up to a ridiculous amount let's say 300 and do slow motion but not with uh, fluid or smoke uh, smoke simulation okay um, and there is um, a field let me check in short um, I experimented with it already in the render settings time remapping yeah in the dimensions settings um, in the smoke sim I go to the render settings oh the render settings okay and the dimensions yeah and there's time remapping yep and this time remapping gives also uh, nice results, but yeah. Yeah, but the the thing is, this this will work on frames, right? On on what the engine spits out frame by frame, but it doesn't influence the physics and the physics calculation because okay. Blender. Um, calculates the physics frame uh, the physics frame to frame right and it has a set um, amount of it's not infinitely scalable like real life where you can stop time by just recording it because physics is that that uh, you know you, you have uh, what's it called the uh, Planck time is the shortest amount of time that you can have in physics in, in Blender, the shortest amount of time you can have is one frame, and then you can decide to have 3,000 frames or 6,000 frames or something per amount of time. So it's uh, it's all step by step. This is how engines work in general. Uh, they have a set physics simulation speed. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's say it's um, it's a good uh, starting anyway. Um, so can you explain in short what you've done? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so the this is this isn't like really complicated if you work with the physics engine before, uh, the uh, smoke sim before. Uh, this is just a collision object in case the uh, smoke goes backwards. The um, bullet is a collision object but set to animated and then the actual uh, smoke emitting object is this in front of it. It's a cone mm -hmm. and it uses a particle system that when, when the gun is fired, let's say, right in the beginning, it just emits a bunch of particles like this, which create the ring. Okay. This was my idea, and I um, already created such ring emitting particles, but it doesn't look good. <laughs> I mean, the, the particle sim is set to have uh, a bit of drag and dampening, otherwise they scatter too quickly and fall off uh, and disappear. And then um, there are two fields here as well one is drag so you have a uh, dragging force of air that uh, lets the smoke linger with the uh, with the bullet so they are parented to the bullet right those empties have force mm -hmm. fields right and the second one in front of it is uh, smoke flow so it uh, kind of takes the smoke that's being fired drags it along and then disturbs it. That's all it does to fake kind of the disturbance of the of the bullet that would be created. Okay, so the, the smoke flow uh, just takes it more or less and carry the smoke with it? Um, the drag takes it with it, with it the okay. drag. And the smoke flow makes it um, kind of disturbed in a way, like it um, 
lets it f flow off the bullet. Because if, um, if I remove this, I believe uh, when I did this, the smoke stayed all the way with the bullet because of the drag. Um, what's the difference to the turbulence? Turbulence would just disperse the smoke around it. Like, you know, it, the, the, the smoke would go in all the directions. While what I wanted is a streak of smoke that is being dragged with the bullet, but then also dispersed uh, after it's gone. I don't know if that makes any sense. Mm, yeah. I, uh... If I use turbulence, the smoke would just go in all the directions, uh, like almost like a vortex, and it just didn't look right. So I played around with it. I don't know why smoke flow works specifically here better than, um, let's say, turbulence. But I believe turbulence like pushes stuff away. Okay. I think I once heard in a tutorial that the turbulence field uh, is, is no matter where you place it, it influences the whole scene. Yeah. But okay. That makes so sense then, maybe. So the, the question is, um, then then it's not useful to animate a turbulence field. But I, I, I saw um, other tutorials where the turbulence field is animated just to have um, yeah the the influence from one part of the image to the other. Let's see. I mean, the Blender documentation should be pretty clear about if um, if if um, if it influences the entire sim, right? I believe. Okay, so if you hit global, then it influences all of it. Okay, there is a button. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, all well, that's cleared up then. Uh, uh, anyway, this is this is kind of if you want, I can give you this um, blend, but I think this is you know easy easy enough to uh, you know recreate for you. You know what buttons to press. Um, okay, and and for the can you just click the particles to to go through some settings? Uh, yeah. No. Oh, okay. Um, and so the the smoke should disappear with with the time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So where do you have this? It's in the uh, smoke simulation, and it says dissolve. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then you set the time, and this is in frames, so thirty yeah. frames. Okay, it's just from from the starting point where they emit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and and the polygraphs have a force that they go um, to the right side. Yeah, they have. Um, uh, normal and uh -huh. a little bit of random this is why I made the cone because then you know if you if you start with the cone the first emitted particles look like this mm -hmm. and then... yeah I, I made a sphere and just um, chosen one ring of the sphere so yeah I put this, I put it's nearly the same okay um, and we see that the smoke first um, gets emitted and then has this mushroom-like behavior. <laughs> um, this, is, this is something that it makes a little bit on its own, right? <laughs> um, what exactly do you mean? Okay, it comes not out 
straight and goes straight away. Um, oh yeah. It, it goes backwards. It forms this mushroom head. Okay, so uh, besides having the particles emit uh, in a direction, there's also a setting here called initial velocity in the this is the same object, so uh, the smoke object. It uses the particle system and it, then the um, the smoke has its own velocity when it comes out. So depending on how high you set this, it will give additional velocity to the smoke that comes off the particles because the um, it's really hard to see because of the density of the smoke. But the smoke is slightly bef above, like uh, in front of the particles. You know what I mean? Mm, okay. So when the uh, when the particles spawn, they also emit smoke forward. Okay. And then and then the rest is really it just dissolves. Um, it doesn't really go backward. So it gets ejected and then it dissolves, then the bullet comes out, drags a little bit of it with it, and that's it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, what I um what I don't had was the two modifiers that are on the pose on the bullet and interact with each other somehow. Okay. Okay. This gives me something to think about. <laughs> I mean I also I also what I also did is in one of the tries is for example to give the bullet a normal collision. So the bullet would also interact with the particles because right now it only interacts with the smoke. Do you know what I mean? Mm, okay. So when when the uh, ring of particles is here, right, and the bullet goes through it, I could also give the uh, bullet collision to push the particles away. But then I um, lost uh, the ring very quickly. And it mm. didn't look very uh, convincing. Yeah. Maybe then we, we need a second ring with a separate uh, particle system that interacts. Yeah. But dissolves earlier. Okay. <laughs> Great stuff. Okay. And yeah, um, the rest of it, I mean, this is not. Um, uh, for 64 divisions so you can you know if you have a better computer than mine you can crank this up higher and make it look real nice when it's rendered because right now it's you know it's yeah. very choppy 